Hello, welcome to the Slant Super vulnerability video where today I'll be covering a new security advisory released by VMware, which details five vulnerabilities, four of which are very important and have the kind of important severity given by VMware. So obviously that means it's important for you to ensure that your vCenter servers are fully up to date, have the latest version, and that they're not potentially vulnerable to these new vulnerabilities. Uh, these new vulnerabilities are mainly heap overflow vulnerabilities uh, and can allow attackers to execute arbitrary code um, without any sort of authentication as long as they have access to your network. Now, in order to ensure that you are fully protected, that your vCenter servers are on the latest version, now we're going to head into LandSuper. We're going to take a look at exactly which vCenter server do we have and their details. So here in LandSuper, I'm just going to head over to my inventory where under one of the default filters, I can go to asset types to quickly find all of the vCenter servers that I have. Um, so just go into the VMware vCenter server here. And that will give me a list of all my vCenter servers. I'm going to go to this one to take a look at the specific asset details. There's, you'll see that it gives me some basic information that we've been able to retrieve from the vCenter API. Um, and the important one here to obviously note is the build and version so that we know exactly which version, well, major version, at least the VMware vCenter server has. And then additionally, which build, which those two numbers we can use to actually verify whether our vCenter server is on the latest build or not, and whether therefore it is protected or not. If I want more details, I can always head over to the config tab where we get full details of the actual guests or the devices or the servers that are managed by this vCenter server. Um, and if I head over to the SXI server here, I can even see which ESXi servers are managed by this specific VMware vCenter server. Um, and I can click through and even see which guests are on those ESXi servers. Um, I get to see which data center it's part of. Um, and a lot more additional details here as well related to network, virtual interfaces, et cetera, that you can find here as well. All the details basically that you might need to manage your vCenter servers effectively. Um, if you want to grab or get a view of this, all you need to do is head over to the LandSuper website. You can start the free trial, get the setup in your own environment, scan your vCenter servers, and you can get the same information. You have that complete overview of all of your vCenter servers along with their version and their build. So you can effectively counter mitigate the vulnerabilities that I've mentioned. That'll be it for now. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.